Hello my dear subscribers, today I am going to play Geometry Box by Macropixel and record my first ever Let's Play on this channel. Have you ever imagined what would Geometry Dash look like if it was a sandbox game like Minecraft or Terraria? I haven't, that's why my excitement has no limits right now. Unfortunately, the text-to-speech voice can't express my sensation right now, so just believe me. Let's begin with the creating of my first world. The name is going to be Geometry Box, and I'll pick a simple seed like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Also it lets me choose the icon I like as well as any color of HSB color palette. What? There is no spin block icon? That is my favorite. Oh well, I suppose I'll use my friend Super Loogie 147's icon and colors. I don't really like all these death effects, so I'll just pick up the one that matches the icon color. And now we are ready to dive in the procedurally generated world of Geometry Box. So, here's Loogie, what can he do? Jump, move around, break blocks and pick them up. Pretty simple set of abilities. There are also 5 slots for quick item access. How do I jump over these spikes? There are 4 in the row. Let's build a bridge over them to cross this dangerous sequence. Ouch, that must have been painful. Listen here you spike wait what? I can break them too? Well, this makes everything a bit easier now. Let's place them back, they became white for some reason. Alright, time to collect more spikes. Look, this is the ice realm. No, I can't collect these shards yet. I believe I need to collect fire shards first. Oh well, let's slide to the other side. And here is Fire Realm I've been looking for. Are these spikes shooting saw blades? That is really weird. Oh it hit me. I'll build over them. Now I've collected 4 fire shards. It seems that shards have separate slots in the toolbox. That also means I don't have to throw them away to clear the space for other tools and tiles. This shadow saw blade is really fast. I can't break shadow tiles and shards without a proper tool. Ouch, they also kill me instantly. Indeed I am, game. Let's check if I can reshape my items into anything. Hmm, a fire pick? I need 24 shards for it. Time to collect some more. Do my health points even regenerate? Ah uh, yes, they do. That was a very unfair hit right there. Finally I have enough fire shards for a pick. I'll shape it now. It allows me to break fire tiles and spikes. Cool. Wow, I got a shadow shard early, that was not supposed to happen, was it? What else can I reshape the shards into? Hmm, a fiery potion that increases icon's resistance. And an orange orb that allows it to jump twice. I can also shape various tiles and spikes out of shards, great. But for now I need only the potion and the orange orb. Shards need more tiles to grow on, let's make a simple cave to get them faster. So I need 50 shards for the orb and 30 for the potion, that's 80 in total, oof. This may take a while. And the last fire shard and now I got the resistance potion.
How do I use it though? Ah, just click in the air to drink it. The health bar outline is now orange, now I have increased my resistance. Here goes the orange orb. Let's test it. This is really high. Ah, so spikes can't even damage me now? Haven't expected that, but I'll take it. And now to the ice realm. What is this momentum? I can't slow down after a hit and change my movement direction. Ah, and now I died. Sorry, Lugi. Alright, back to the ice realm. Time to collect shards for a pick and then everything else. Yeah, here we go, an ice pick. Now I can get rid of my fire pick to keep my toolbox free for other items. Now, when I got the pick, I want to acquire the gravity orb, as well as the second resistance level by drinking the icy potion. 80 ice shards, here I go. Ah uh, yes, the potion. Time to become tougher. Ice spikes can't hit me now, bad for them. What are you gonna do now, ice saw blade? You ain't gonna do anything. Still have to keep away from poison saw blades though. Yes. Finally got the gravity orb. Can't wait to test it out. Can Sky kill me though? Ah uh, yes it can. Something tells me it's not the only time I'll try flying to space. Please oh my god why no. To avoid such deaths, I should stick with Orange Orb for a bit longer. Why you little? Ah come on. Almost forgot about the poison pick I can shape now. Goodbye, ice pick. Combining the unique gear of this realm such as the green dash orb and the double speed portal, with the potion of poison that is as strange as it sounds. It's 160 shards in total. What a ripoff.
I've had enough of this. Let me poison myself first. Is the game laughing at me now? Let's go. Of course. That's it, I'm removing all tiles above this level. Time to go airborne with the dash orb. Combined with the double speed portal. See you in the shadow realm. Alright, I'm going to end the video here, since its editing took a lot longer than was expected. You can still get the game and complete the world yourself. The link to the original video by Macropixel is available in the description below, there you'll be able to find the download link for this game, as well as Macro's retrospective of the process of development. At the cursor and keyboard was Shruggy the Spinblock. Goodbye everyone, have a nice time.